Hello gorgeous girl, welcome back to my channel and today we are diving into 10 beauty hacks that have elevated my looks. If you're new here, hello, I'm Tracy. I am 49 years old. I am turning 50 in November. It is right around the corner. Um, I have been in the fitness and wellness industry for over 25 years and I am a lover of all things beauty, wellness, lifestyle, you name it. So if you're new here, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. Just smash on that subscribe button and give this video a like. So let's dive into these beauty hacks without further ado. And I'm kind of going to be like roasting myself just a little bit here because I've been on YouTube since about 2011 and you know when I look at some of my old videos it is like a cringe fest for me but you know what we grow we learn we evolve and I firmly believe that as women we just keep getting better and better and better with age kind of like fine wine so one of the first things that I did that really helped to elevate my looks is to stop bleaching out of my hair. Uh, as you can see on my channel, my hair was very, 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 very blonde. I used to get my hair highlighted probably like every six weeks. I would go bananas if I had any roots at all. And now at almost 50 years old, what I wouldn't give for a dark root. In fact, now when I do my roots, I actually dye my roots darker to give the illusion of darker roots just because I don't know, I just think it looks better, and especially as I have a ton of gray hair, when I have gray roots with my light skin and my light eyes, everything just kind of looks like there's no color at all. So obviously you might not be a blonde or have light brown hair or whatever your hair color is, but I do find that for you and for me and for all of us, Finding something that just works, that's more sustainable, that's more natural for you, that's gonna make a huge difference in elevating your looks. You know, having very unnatural colored hair or, you know, hair that really looks like, you know, you have been sitting in the salon, especially when it comes to blonde, it's not always the best choice. You know, even I see people with like darker skin and they will change their hair and like kind of dye it blonde. And a lot of times I often think that they look much better with their hair closer to what their natural color is. So you do you, you find what works best for you, but I have found for myself personally, this is what really works for me right now, which is kind of like a darker blonde look. It looks much, much better. So I haven't gotten highlights in my hair in over three years. Um, I, the last time I got highlights was when I lived in the building um, that we used to live in in Miami. So it's been, gosh, you know, three and a half years since I've had highlights. I colored my hair at home and I'm happy to hold a video about my hair care. Let me know if that's something you want by leaving me a comment. But also on top of it guys, because I do my own hair, it saves me a ton of time and it saves me a ton of cash. So, you know, find what works best for you. We love our hairstylists, we love our salons, you know, but for me, this is what works best and I really do feel that it has completely elevated my look. The second thing that I've done that really has elevated my looks, and again, cringe fest here because I used to wear a lot of makeup here on YouTube. I'm talking like very deep smoky eyes. I'm talking like very bright kind of crazy colored lips. Along with that bleach blonde hair, it was a lot. But I think if you wanna elevate your look, having more natural looking makeup is really what's key. Look at my skin right now. I don't have any makeup on. I know you're probably like, well, what are you talking about, liar? This is not makeup, this is skincare. So if you haven't heard about the brand Typology, you are in for a treat. Typology is a French skincare brand, and let me tell you, their products are next level. If you wanna elevate your looks, look no further. So on my skin right now is their Tinted Serum. It's formulated with vitamin C, squalane, and aloe vera. It's not foundation. It's lightweight, but it does provide coverage and hydration. What I love about Typology, because it's skincare, not makeup, is that immediately when you put it on, you get that immediate payoff of just a little bit of coverage, a little bit of brightening, but I'm telling you, it takes your skin up another level, and you just look in the mirror and you're like, oh my gosh, I look so pretty. Now, you might know, but I'm actually not really a concealer girl, but I do love the brightening effect that concealer can use, and that's why I love Typology's Serum Concealer. You need the tiniest, tiniest bit. It contains caffeine and niacinamide, so it helps with dark circles and puffiness, and 
I'm a mom, so I will take all the help I can get. Their glow drops are made with vitamin C and gives your skin an instant and long-term radiance. And fun fact, I actually put the glow drops on my collarbones and a little bit on my shoulder just to give a little bit of that glow, which we love. I love Typology because it gives you that like lit from within look and it is not makeup. Now you always ask me what I have on my lips and today what I have is the Typology Lip Oil and this is in powder pink. Look at this color. I did line it just for a little bit of definition with a little bit of lip liner, but I love this because it hydrates your lips. It has vitamin E, squalane, and jojoba oil. The color is like absolutely perfection. But my second favorite, <laughs> if I had to choose a favorite, this is like choosing your favorite child, is the coral lip oil. This is this beautiful, when I first saw this package, I was like, mm, this is really bright. But it goes on this just like perfect wash of color. But fun fact, it's also what I put on my cheeks. I love Typology so much. So I will leave all the information about Typology linked down below in the description box. If you don't know where to find that underneath my head somewhere is the title of this video. And usually there's the word more. If you tap on that word more and then you tap on it again, there you will get the entire description box. For a limited time, Typology is going to be hooking you up with their Orange Organic Blossom Hydrolate. It's really recognized for its regenerative properties and helps strengthen dull and weakened skin. So they're gonna offer this to you as members of my amazing community for one week only. So definitely check out Typology today. I'm telling you, when I find something that I love, I am super, super loyal to it. And when I tell you that I messaged like five of my closest friends and was like, oh my gosh, you guys have to try out this product. It's so good and how gorgeous is this finish. So check out Typology. The third thing that I have done to really elevate my looks, and I hope that you do it too, is I do not use eye cream. You know, I am friends with someone who is a chemical engineer and he produces skincare and sunscreen and he told me, you know what, eye cream doesn't make a difference. You don't need it. You just need a rich cream that you're going to put on your face, you know, if you have dry skin or whatever, in the evening and that's pretty much it. So save yourself a buck or two and you don't need to buy special eye creams. I remember back in my early 30s, I used to buy very, very expensive eye creams and what I found was that it actually would crease up my makeup if I was using concealer. So save yourself some money, don't spend all your money on eye cream, but do spend good money on skincare so that your skin is hydrated, it's moisturized, it's dewy, it's feeling good, it's healthy, but you don't need those expensive eye creams. You're welcome. Did you know that the blue light that emanates from our computer screens and our devices, it can actually age your skin? I know, crazy, right? Like we need another thing to age us, but it's true. And if you're a person like me, I find that I squint a lot and my eyes get really dry and really tired. And maybe that's just one of those bonus things that we get at almost 50 years old, but I have found that wearing blue light glasses really, really helps. Now during the day, I wear a cute little pair that are not embarrassing. They really help to make sure that my eyes don't get so tired, they don't get so dry, and I'm definitely not squinting as much. But also at night, I use those Bono glasses, I like to call them, my bright orange ones. So as I'm winding down, maybe giving my phone that last look, that last social media scroll before I go into my reading routine, I make sure to use those blue light glasses so that I am really not squinting and I'm not aging my eyes because we don't need to age our eyes any more than mother nature is going to anyway. The next thing that I did to really help to elevate my looks is I stopped plucking the living out of my eyebrows. You know, I grew up in the 90s and having those very thin Drew Barrymore like eyebrows, it was really a thing, it was really a trend. But I have to tell you, again, as we get older, we just start realizing less is more. I also used to laminate my eyebrows. Now, I think this looks great on some people, but when I look at old pictures of myself with my laminated brows, I'm kind of like, you know, it's kind of a bit much. I just prefer a more natural look. And what I do use is I use my NYX Thick It Stick It to just really get those eyebrows going up. And then I'll just fill them in with a little bit of a pencil because unfortunately I have a lot of gray eyebrows, but it's a more natural look. I don't spend a lot of time, a lot of energy, or a lot of money getting my brows done. I have considered getting them naturally looking, microbladed, is that what you call it? Microbladed? If you've done it and you love it, please let me know. Because some of my friends have done it and like you literally wouldn't know. I'm not talking those thick, crazy looking eyebrows, but just 
for the fact of just having my eyebrows done when I wake up in the morning, I feel like that would be a game changer. But again, what's going to elevate your look is making sure that it is a more natural look for you. Not pencil thin, not hugely thick like a caterpillar, but somewhere in between that happy balance, that's chic, that's elegant, and that's going to elevate your look. The next thing that I did that really helped to elevate my looks is no more self tanner on my face. You know, I just think self tanner on your face can make you look kind of orange. It can make you look clowny. When I used to get spray tans, I look at old pictures of myself and I'm like, hmm, you're giving a little bit of an Oompa Loompa vibe. Again, less is more. I'm very fair. I have very light skin. And so I think that, of course, warming up your complexion having a little bit of a blush, a little bit of a color on it, but having that like tan tan look, especially as we age, it kind of ages you and that's not what any of us wants. So definitely lay off the self tanner on your face. Just use some makeup, you know, to warm up your skin. And I find, you know, at almost 50 years old and that's enough. The next thing that I've done that really helped to elevate my looks is really working with my hair. My hair is wavy naturally. It is thin, but I have a ton of it. I don't really even know what that means. If you're a hairstylist, let me know. But my ponytail is like this big. It's like nothing. It's like half of my five-year-old daughter's head. Um, but there's just a ton of it and it does have a lot of volume. So what I realize is I don't like volume on the top of my hair. If I do, it gives me very much like a 90s kind of Rachel look and that's not the look that I like. I kind of work with my waves, just kind of keep the waves, keep them looking as natural, but just sort of organize them a little bit, if you will. Um, I love my Dyson Airwrap. I've talked about it for years and years and years. Yes, it's an investment, but I truly think it's one of the best investments you can make. I'll leave it linked down below. I've had mine now for over six years. I mean, it's truly like, it's incredible. And you think like cost per use, it really does add up. And you know, in recent years, just because of time, I do get a blowout usually about once a week or every two weeks. It helps because then I know I'm gonna have good hair for you know three, maybe four days, and it's enough for me. So again, work with your hair, the texture that you have. You know, if you've got really wild curly hair, go for it. Have your Carrie Bradshaw moment, have your, your beautiful natural moment. Like me, I have like my beachy waves, and when I spent my entire summer in Italy, I just let my hair be. I did nothing to it, just like a Velcro roller in the front, and that was it. And I think it's just really important. Again, it's one of those beautiful things about aging is just really like appreciating you and the natural things that make you you. So work with your hair, the texture, the style that you have. You know, one of my personal idols is Diane von Furstenberg. I talk about her all the time. And she used to straighten her hair. And it's so funny because you look at these pictures of her in like the 70s with her smoothed out hair. Well, you know, she's gorgeous. She'll look gorgeous no matter what she does. I love her with like her wild curly hair. It just makes her her. So embrace what makes you you, what makes you beautiful, and what makes you unique. You want to elevate your looks it's an inside out job i talk about this all the time on my channel so if you want to go deeper into this topic check out this video but you know we are what we eat and when we eat crap we look like crap so eat for better skin making sure that you're having an abundance of fruit and vegetables so you're getting all those phytonutrients you're hydrating your body you're really taking good care of your gut that's an inside out job what we eat is what we become so when we're eating tons of sugar tons of products processed food, tons of fried stuff, tons of alcohol, all the things, right? It shows up on our skin. You know, I think back when I was like in my 20s and I used to get so much hormonal acne down here around my jawline. And it was really because I wasn't sleeping, I wasn't eating right, I was eating a lot of fake foods because I just wanted to be skinny. And it's like, my skin is so much better now at almost 50 years old. And the truth of the matter is, I don't even work that hard to keep it looking good. It's because of my lifestyle and how I eat. So take a good, honest look at your diet and your nutrition and where can you clean things up a little bit and incorporate some more freshness, some more food that's gonna keep you healthy, glowy, vibrant, and make you really looking your absolute best. So some of you might know that I was actually a trained dancer and I you know, was a dance major in college. I danced my whole life. And as a result, my feet are crusty AF. Not a great look. I mean, I'm just being honest with you. I used to have to dance barefoot, so my feet are calloused. They get very dry, but I'm telling you, 
making sure that I take good care of my feet has really changed everything. And it also just feels like a little something that I give to myself, if that makes sense. You know, we're all busy. We are all juggling a million things. We've all got, you know, maybe you've got kids, you've got your career, maybe you have aging parents, you know, like blah, 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 all these responsibilities. It's hard to find time to really take care of you. For some reason, when I'm taking castor oil and massaging that onto my feet or using whatever kind of lotion when I'm getting my pedicures, I just know that I'm giving myself a little gift. So crusty feet make my confidence level go down, but when I have moisturized, smooth, good, healthy looking feet that don't scream dancer anymore than my bunions do, I feel better and it really helps to elevate my looks. Now, I have chosen to not get surgery on my bunions because you know what? Embrace what makes you you. I was a dancer. I've got bunions. So what? But they don't hurt. If, I, if they do hurt someday, maybe I will opt for that surgery. But right now they don't. And I just feel like, again, that's one of the beautiful things about getting older is you just accept yourself, bunions and all. And if you really want to elevate your looks, my number one hack for you is to be happy. You know, you are unique, you are beautiful, you are gorgeous, and you are meant to be seen at any age and any stage of life. And you can always count on me to help. So embrace what makes you, you. Try to always just be the best version of yourself and just know that we're all in this together. So thank you so much for being here today. If you wanna keep hanging with me here on YouTube, make sure to check out this video next and I'll see you there.